Hello YouTube world, it's Jordan Ray again for another video. This time I'm talking about Google Sites. I'm not going to do any coding in this video, uh, so if that's what you're here for, go ahead and click off. It's going to be a short one because I realized this week that I really needed to update my website and I thought about just coding the whole thing by hand, but since I do so much with Google Apps Script, why not take advantage of Google Sites? which is a feature that I really uh, ha haven't used much, but it's actually um, quite cool. I mean, it's basic. It's a minimal kind of drag and drop website builder. However, for someone like me with very little design sense, I think it's gonna work pretty well. I love going into the code. I love writing out code. However, when it comes to the little stylistic things, I often find myself not really sure how to proceed. And this takes care of all of that, especially along the lines of making it responsive. So you can design something that looks great in the webs in the browser and then on a tablet and then on a phone. And that's really what I'm going for. Um, now, I already own jordanray.com and I want to apply that to my website. So you can still click on my jordanray.com links and get to where you need to go. However, I was a little unsure as to how to set up the DNS records to do that. So I'm just gonna quickly show what I had to do to make that work. And I'll link the, the few steps uh, in the description below. So the first thing I did was go to custom URLs from the little settings bar in the upper right hand corner. And I added my www.jordanray.com. Easy enough. However, what you have to do is go into your DNS settings. And there are two records that you need to add. Uh, one of them is a CNAME record to point www. Can I make this larger? Yes, there we go. Uh, the CNAME record with the host www and then the value ghs.googlehosted.com. And there's a little, sneaky little uh, full stop at the end of the dot com. Um, I'm not sure. This is one of those things where we get into, um, you know, web servers. And I, I don't really know why that is there. It just is. Um, the other record that I needed to add was this URL redirect. And what that does, it points to your host. The at symbol represents the top level domain itself. So jordanray.com without www, just flat jordanray.com. This at symbol represents that. But we want it to point over to my www so I can actually type in jordanray.com and that's still going to point to my uh my website it's just gonna it's like a mask so if i type www.jordanray.com it's gonna find it and if i type jordanray.com it's gonna find it so those two things we want to point to really the same page um, the reason we need this redirect is because with just the www, if you type jordanray.com, it it's not going to find it. So that's a, a, a tricky little feature. Just from reading the, the docs um, in the, the Google help docs, it did not mention doing this. So that's kind of why I wanted to. Um, oh, and there actually was a setting here. Masked, unmasked, or permanent 301. Um, I think either masked or permanent 301 works, maybe even unmasked. I haven't tried. And the reason it's, it's hard for me to tell is because sometimes DNS records don't update immediately. You might have to wait 30 minutes. So if you make a, or even longer in some cases, maybe, maybe that has changed in the, in the world now. However, when you make changes here and then you try them, Sometimes you can't be sure if you're trying the most recent uh, version or not. And, you know, uh, that's just kind of the way, it, the way it works. There's a lot, of, a lot of websites on the internet, a lot of servers in the world, 
and the world is a very large place. So all of that stuff is sometimes it takes a few minutes to update it. You know, price you pay for uh, international connectivity. Anyways, that's what I wanted to demonstrate. These two records uh, have allowed me to put this website out into the world and link in this contact form um, that I made, this quick little contact form I made with Google Apps Script, easily embeddable inside of the sites. Now, um, my next video, I'm gonna actually restyle these things uh, so that it does not look like uh, complete garbage, which at this moment is, it doesn't look great. So uh, we'll fix that in my next video and I will talk to you then. Cheers, everybody.